Hello, I'm Eric Allen with Fast Rescue Solutions. Today we're going to go over the basic configuration and components of the board, and then also a partial reset on the board and a full reset on the board. When you receive your board, um, if you purchase the AWOG system, which is the glow and the reflective material you see on it, this is how the board will come. Uh, you'll have an extra large carabiner, a large carabiner, which is connected to the rope and also to the webbing system. We have two cam buckles, which is our progress capture system, Velcro straps that hold our extra large carabiner in place. We have the AWOG system that is glow and reflective, and lots of sections of Velcro so that we can affix all the components at different points on the board. Or we can move them around haul bag that has 75 feet of doubled over and knotted every 16 inches uh, escape tech rope from Sterling. Also attached to the haul line, we have a carabiner on the back of the bag, which is used to capture the rope so we don't have to worry about spilling the bag out. You'll get a horizontal bridle kit, which is color coded, red to the head, blue to the bottom. You have a cross strap, which is for holding a med bag or holding a rip pack. We also have a Anderson multi-loop strap with one of his quick deployment bags. It's configured specifically for the board. Um, it's a seven foot piece of webbing that we can use to shorten our drag strap uh, and also to get a hold of somebody and get them out of a tight situation. Uh, the bottom Kevlar webbing is affixed to a tri-link, which is what we make our connection with and also with a bull nose pull ring, which makes it easier to find and pull off the board. When we deploy the rope bag, and we have a person on the board, it'll be pulled, this comes up over the top of them, comes up through. This is the configuration we'll have. Right here, they'll be attached to the board. When we go to take them off of the board, we just release our cam buckles, give a little room, undo it, remove the patient from the board. A partial reset on the board should be very quick. Just take this, even it out, pop it right there. We don't have to worry about tucking it back into the board. Uh, if we have to go back in on a mass casualty or another victim, we can leave it deployed out. For the top webbing, all we have to do is just have a little pull on this, release the cam buckles, pull it to it just past the board. And again, we don't have to worry about tucking the webbing back into the board. We just put the, the uh, carabiner back into its position, get the rope bag, throw it back on, and then we'd be able to go back into service. If we're doing a full reset, simply take the webbing and just run it back into the empty space inside the board. This keeps it out of the way, cuts down on our snag hazards, and protects the webbing. With the top pieces, just pull, get a little pinch, and again, just work it into the opening on the board. And again, slide both sections into the hollow space of the board. A little difficult to get it started. With the rope bag, I fix it back to the board. If you have line pulled out, you open it up and just treat this bag as a stuff sack. The board gives you a stable platform. To contain this carabiner a little more so it doesn't flop out and hit the ground, just take your rope, tuck it underneath the Velcro strapping here, and that'll help contain that. And then all your pieces back into position, full reset, and you're ready to go.